Hello there, I'm Naomi Meredith and I'm going to show you how to use my engineering inspiration boards in your classroom. There are probably more ways to use these than you can think of, so I can't wait to share with you those ideas. So what is an engineer inspiration board? Well, it's a one page board that is perfectly suited for kindergarten through second grades to design a creative way of any of the images shown on the board. There are no step-by-steps for this, which is awesome because they can be creative and show their thinking with lots of different materials. This is the typical board, and there are many different styles and lots of themes that you can choose from. There is a colored version that is full page and also a black and white version that looks great printed on your favorite colored paper. But that's not all. I know that digital is also important, especially if you are teaching children remotely. So there is also a digital version as well that you can share with students through the digital platform of your choice. And it doesn't have to just be iPads. There's also smaller versions that you can print for students as well. So if you wanna print the tiny ones and they can take them home for homework, or you can put them in little bags. There's really tiny ones, which is great as well. Now, they can start building right away. You can give them a board, they start building. But if you really wanna stretch out the lesson and get students used to the engineering design process, there are planning sheets available as well and all of the digital and all that that I explained before. So they can get a blueprint page and they can draw their plan, write what it is, and also write down the materials that they're going to use. And again, this is very open-ended. You can use whatever materials you have on hand. Now, as they get building, some students like to rush their work or they might do the same style over and over again. So here is just a little checklist that they can go through to push their thinking. So some of those things can include, does their design stand up on their own? Can it be moved without breaking? Do they use more than three colors? Some students get really stuck on using one color so that can push their creativity. Do they use more than one kind of material? So mixing mediums. And also does their design have symmetry? They don't have to have all those things, but just a different way to modify their design. And at the end, they can share their work with their peers, with you on this printed sheet or digital sheet. They can take a picture of their design or draw a picture and also explain what they made and what they actually ended up using to create your, their design. So lots of different ways to use this resource. If you don't have, want to print a whole lot, I would suggest um, printing a bunch out and then you can put them in a binder and have a station or each student has a binder and they can use this as a free choice. So lots of great options. So I have some materials here that I might use with my students. Straws are really great, um, Lego bricks, Play-Doh, even if you make some from home and they can um, make homemade Play-Doh, that's really fun. Cardboard, I love cutting up cardboard for them, tubes, whatever. Now, if you're thinking about doing this with students, if you have to have a socially distant situation, or if you are able to send materials home, just grab a baggie and then you can just put some stuff in here for the kids. So maybe you'll add a few straws, some cardboard, popsicle sticks, the colored ones are really fun. Ooh. Some toilet paper tubes, I have a lot of those. Pipe cleaners. And maybe don't give them the whole roll of tape, you could roll a little bit up on a popsicle stick and then put it in the bag. And then also you can put inside for them their sharing sheet. So maybe they turn this back into you. The checklist, planning sheet, and then the inspiration board. This is great, you can send home or you can have it in a station for your lesson. You could even do this for bonus homework or they can earn this as a prize. So lots of different options and open possibilities for this quick and easy STEM lesson.